Good guys. Okay, as uh, at uh, 2.50 yesterday, there was a serious traffic crash on Crumlin Creek Road. Um, a male and a female, both in their 60s, early 60s, suffered uh, life-threatening injuries. Uh, they're presently uh, in hospital, receiving uh, treatment in ICU. Um, police are looking for a 24-year-old female, uh, who was the driver of Unit 1, and uh, they're wishing to speak to her in relation to the circumstances involving the crash. So there was a crash. Did she run from the scene or did she drive away from the scene? Uh, information is that she left the scene with um, uh, other people. Uh, police investigations are trying to establish uh, who those people were and um, they'd like those people to come forward and assist police in, with their inquiries. Is there any indication she deliberately ran into this motorbike? Yeah, there's no indication at this stage. Um, that's all part of the police investigation to try and establish uh, how the traffic crash occurred and uh, obviously there will be uh, an investigation upon, upon that. How was the victim? She was so traumatised at the scene. I heard her parents had to come and get her. She had other uh, trauma yeah, recently. That's, in her that's, life that's part of the investigation. We're not aware of those circumstances of yet. Um, like I said, the, the French crash unit is still waiting to speak to her. Uh, and until they speak to her, we can't confirm or, or, or sort of deny those ones. How are the victims? Uh, yeah, they both underwent surgery uh, today. The male person is in ICU at the PA hospital in Brisbane and the females in uh, Gold Coast Hospital in ICU. So at this stage, they're, they're still listed as critical, so we're having a full recovery uh, with them. Critical but stable? I mean, are you hoping they're going to come through? Well, obviously we're hoping they, they, they come through. Uh, but like I said, the, the latest um, information from the hospital is that they're still critical at this stage. It sounds like uh, police know who she is. Would you appeal for her to come forward herself? Yeah, definitely. You know, she needs to come forward, um, give her version of events, and uh, let the investigators do their job and find out exactly how the traffic crash occurred. It's been a pretty bad year up to that. I think it's been the worst year so far for quite a few years. This is, it's not good, is it? It's not good. Um, actually, our, our fatalities are, are actually on track with, with previous years. We're not too bad there. However, it's sometimes a fine line between uh, a serious traffic crash and a fatality. So we just ask all motorists to take care on the roads. You know, it's everybody's responsibility to drive carefully. And like I said, sometimes it's a fine line between, you know, living and dying in a traffic crash. So we just try to avoid them all up. Any idea what caused the crash? Was it someone crossing the road? No, at this stage indications were she was on the wrong side of the road, but that's still under investigation as to the cause of, of why she was there. Thanks, Braden. Okay. Thank you, Braden.